you the bounty hunter? Sheriff Bartlett. I got your telegram. Mighty grateful to you. <laughs> I may have some work for you. Stop by my office later. <laughs> All right, so uh, what's going on, everybody? Shio775 here, and it was kind of weird how I had to start off this episode. Um, I went to go and start up the uh, the save file and all that, and it started me off on the cutscene, so I wasn't really expecting that. So I had to go restart it and all that, and doing uh, just go and start doing it from here. So as you can tell, we are in a Say new town. You're new in town, ain't you, stranger? You ought to have a look around and see the sights while you're here. Read all about it. All right, well, thank you, good sir. But yeah, um, it just started off with uh, me doing this, so I didn't really have much of a choice on what exactly I um, want to do, so I decided to just, you know, start it up and just see where exactly we go. Well, I do declare, I had me such a fright the other day. One of my little ones got to drinking some liver medicine I bought from a traveling salesman. Hmm. Well, your kids are stupid, okay? So let's go talk with this old lady real quick. And are you going to talk to me? the life of Sheriff O'Grady this morning. That poor town's just a hotbed of trouble recently. This is just weird. There was some fancy pants Englishman in town just the other day claiming he was a famous trick shooter. Okay, so these people are just weird how hey, they make some... you look like you've traveled around these parts. I heard you was the one that saved Sheriff O'Grady's life. Read all that. Yeah, they seem like, like, uh, <laughs> they seem to think I'm like some, like, big, huge hotshot when really the guy was just standing there. Offers $5,000 prize to the quickest draw in the territory. Hmm, so $5,000, I could probably get some good, uh, what? He was claiming that he'd been hired sight unseen by a world-renowned circus troupe. And I'm just now realizing I did not mute my TV, so it's been probably echo. I wonder what'll happen to that town of his, now that there are no lawmen left. Read all about it. Governor it's probably just going to go to hell and become a ghost town. That's probably what's going to end up being. Uh, is this it? Like, is this like all the people? Let's just enter this gun shop and see what we got. Because I am now not used to having this kind of open world thing. Because it's just not the kind of thing that was in this game, and you know, for the past the past few like chapters of this game, it hasn't really been like that. Howdy, Mister. You look like a man who can appreciate a good shooting arm. All right, all right. So let's see what he's got. Got the repeater rifle. We've already got this. We need. Ooh, we can upgrade. Oh wait, no, that we got upgraded. Six shooter. We could probably upgrade that. Let me see what else he's got. Let me go and upgrade this. And we already upgraded that. I don't have enough money for that, so we're going to have to go and get some money. Alright, but at least I've upgraded my guns, so that's good. Now, let's go and get out of here, and continue on to the other parts. But yeah, yeah, um, it's been a while since I've actually recorded this game. Uh, I've been kind of busy at work, so I haven't really had time to record this game necessarily. I've been able to record Saints Row, which is, you know, still something for the channel, but... You know, since I started up this one, I still need to go and finish it, you know? Yeah, when I get my hands on that prize money, I can finally get about doing that thing I was always thinking about doing. Now, what was that thing again? Okay, what the hell? That guy is like the weirdest, like, thing. He, like, barely moves, and he, <laughs> just the way he talks, it's just not, like, just, like, it just doesn't look correct. You look like you need a drink. What'll it be? Alright, so that's what I was actually trying to talk to, the bartender, not the guy right there. Uh, so we got the whiskey bottle, and we got that bottle. I don't really want exactly just to go and buy it, all that, but... You know what, fuck it. We've got the money, might as well go and buy it. Now I'm just down to like 20 bucks. Let's go talk with the... Howdy, stranger. Always nice to see a fresh face in town. You look like you could do with a bath, a soft bed, and the company of a fine woman. God damn, she has huge tits, man. Look at those. I don't know, for like the old west, she has some fucking huge tits. Let me just say that. And this saloon really reminds me of the one from uh, Red Dead Revolver. Heck, I think it might actually be the one from Red Dead Revolver. Do not disturb. Sounds of snoring. 
Locked. So that's weird. Let's see what's this door over here. Occupied. Okay, so that's probably the bathroom. Alright, whatever, whatever. Yeah, I think this actually might be the one from uh, Red Dead Redemption. Hmm, cool. Uh, that's pretty much it for that. I mean, there's nothing else here. So let's just go and exit out. See what else we can get into uh, in this little town. See how interesting this uh, episode becomes. Okay, so we got the sheriffs. Uh, okay, that continues on to the next chapter. Uh, showdown starts at 8 o'clock tonight. I don't know when 8 o'clock comes around. I don't really know exactly how the time works in this game. So I'm not even going to really try. And that's probably the back door or something. Yeah, probably, but I can't get through there. Well, there is the canyon. That's awful pretty at sunset, but there has been some trouble up that way. You best avoid that. Alright, so there's probably the canyon filled with, like, uh, bandits and things like that. Only the other day I heard that an ex-pupil of mine, a sweet boy by the name of Joshua, got in trouble with some dynamite. Well, apparently, Joshua's still stupid, because you really shouldn't be playing with dynamite, especially... The only circus folk around here are the freaks that belong to that charlatan snake oil salesman, Professor Perry. Now, why did the music just suddenly get louder? Like seriously, like the music just suddenly got super loud. I don't even know why. But it really shouldn't be getting that loud. Unless I'm creeping up on something. Which I do not know. Maybe I am. Deliveries only. Makes sense. Um, so, let's see here. What's up? Gen oh, gentlemen callers, okay. Let's just go talk to the kid again and see... Oh, wait, what's this? General story. Let's see what I can get for 20 bucks in here. Probably nothing, because everything's going to be super expensive. But, damn, this guy just walks so slow in a store. You don't really walk... What can I do for you, stranger? Ralph Clover's the name. Seriously, just the way these people, like, talk and move, they're just weird. So... We got these two. No, whoa, whoa, this is a lot of stuff. Damn, I don't have enough money for this. I spent all my money on booze. So I guess we're going to have to wait until uh, I can get enough uh, money to go and buy all this stuff. But it's all like journal pages and showdown characters, which I don't really do any, uh, like, well, go through the journal or go into the uh, showdown stuff. So it's not really going to matter necessarily to me. Barbershop closed. Wait, what? Closed indefinitely. Okay. Let's talk to this guy again. Read all about it. Governor announces sixth annual battle royale. Alright, so I get it. There's like a. Ooh, a bank, eh? Let's see what the bank is going to hold in store for me. Right, let's talk to this dude and see what he's going to tell us. Good day to you, sir. Can't say I've seen you before. Are you new in town? If you are, you'd best talk to Mr. Peabody. Mr. Peabody, eh? Alright, we're gonna have to just go and see about Mr. Peabody. Alright. I keep just, like, tapping my microphone for some reason. You guys might be hearing that. Hello there, sir. If you're looking to take out a mortgage on some property, or even cash a promissory note, you came to the right place. Alright, alright. So this guy just seems to be, uh, doing well. Oh, this is probably like where I'm going to be buying some of the other stuff I've been missing since I don't have like, like if I don't get the like best score in a chapter or something, they might not <clears throat> have me unlock some of the items I need. This is probably where I go and get those. But let's just go leave the bank and continue on to the sheriff's office so we can go and get something done with this instead of just walking around town talking to random people in this game. If you're as good a bounty hunter as O'Grady says you are, you could help me with a couple of real outlaws wreaking havoc in my territory. It'd be worth a pretty penny to you. You might want to start with Pig Josh. He's one crazy outlaw and circus freak. Just be careful. He's got a hankering for dynamite. Oh, you might want to keep your eyes out for some English fella. He don't know what a motley crew he's keeping company with. 
Alright, so it seems that this English guy might be the guy that we may have shot his arm off. That's what I'm going with. Uh, he seems like a pretty important person, considering I shot his arm off. Um, and then we got that pig face guy, and I think that's the person that, um, that the one old lady was talking about. So, it might just be one of the same. We got dynamite, which I can't buy. Breach loader, which I already bought. And that's something else I already bought. So I don't have money for any of this, but somehow I got 50 bucks. I don't know where exactly I got that 50. But I'm not really going to question it, because a free 50 bucks is a free 50 bucks. Uh, let's see, we can repair this. How much is going to be repaired? Yeah, uh, let's see here. Um, where do I go? Alright, there we are. I was like trying to figure out where exactly I was going to go to uh, repair it. So let's see here. Damage, short, accuracy. I don't really get exactly what the damage does if this thing doesn't even... Like if I upgrade it, I mean, what exactly it does. Um, let's see, owl rifle, I've upgraded that. So let's see, I think I'll probably go with the Halcon rifle. And since I don't have anything else, might as well go and do that. Um, I guess we're just going to start it up and see where exactly it takes us. There he is again, doing his little gun tricks. Seriously, I've always wanted to learn something like that, but I can never get it done. Alright. Let's see, is there going to be another cutscene? Probably. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. I seem to have found myself in a most unfortunate situation. If you would be kind enough to help me. You ain't my problem. Indeed, sir. However, you might feel differently once you look behind you. Alright, so now we're in a little showdown, I guess. And let's go and see here. Alright, let's go and I guess we got all like circus freaks and stuff. Alright, come on, let's go and reload on this thing. Alright, let's uh. How do, oop, and we got this guy. Alright, so I guess that's gonna. Oh shit! Alright, come on, where do I reload on this gun? Uh, let's see, let's go and choose our rifle out. Oh damn, that was a good one. All right, let's go and choose this guy. Okay, where the hell are you guys at? There we are. Seriously, I always go quiet in this thing. I think it's just mainly because I'm trying to concentrate on the shots. But this is like the weirdest fight I've had yet. There we are. I've been trying to get that headshot on the guy, and it keeps telling me I got a headshot, but it's not giving me a headshot. There we are. And let's see here. He's still in the cage, so where the fuck do I go and free this guy then? Do I go up here or something? I'm trying to shoot the lever on the side of... Wait, there's a lever on the side of the cage? Who exactly is the side of the cage? Oh, there it is. Okay. I was... I, wait, what's going on? I keep hearing the guy. I'm not too sure what exactly. I'm guessing there's more where they came from. That contraption should make short work of them. I'll cover you. Seriously, that guy's like such a uh, like a sir. Just the way he's like always talking. Let's see here. Uh, there he is. All right. Oh shit, we got this guy over here. I didn't even notice him. There we are. Let's go and engage. Oh shit, I need to heal up. I didn't even notice I was already gonna die. Alright, let's go and, uh, come on, get this thing on there. There we are. Alright, where's the other guy? At? There he is. And there we are. Alright, damn, this thing is just as weird on the aiming. It seriously is. Oh, there we are. There we are. And I'm probably going to end up dying. Alright, come on. Where else do I go? Alright, there we are. Uh, where else do we need to go? Uh, like, this thing's just so weird on how exactly it goes. Okay, so that's that guy. 
Um, I'm probably gonna end up like not getting a good score because of the whole damage thing on here, but this thing's weird to aim, let me just say that much. There we are. Uh, anybody else? I don't really think I see anybody else around here. Seriously, this guy's such a gentleman. Just the way he speaks and goes around shooting people. Uh, I don't really see anybody else, but I don't want to exactly get killed. Ah, oh, jeez. Figures now they go and do it. Alright, come on. There we are. Ah, oh, come on. There we are. Um, so, okay. There we are. You're gonna blow up real good, cowboy! Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it seems now we got the uh, pig Josh over here. Alright. So this is just gonna be real easy work right now. Oh shit. Uh, I did not fucking see that one through. I really did not. Um, whoa, wow, he did not really kill me the whole way, though. Alright. Come on. Come on. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, you fucking kidding me. I do not know exactly what he was doing on that one. But I almost had him. I almost had him. Um, but I guess what I had to go and do... Uh, let's go and skip this real quick. I guess what I had to go and do is just stun him and then um, start going for him. Ah, oh, god damn it, dude. Seriously, quit it. Can you get up already? Alright, where's the guy at? I gotta freaking move it. Oh, come on, dude. I'm not even, like, able to do anything right now. Simply due to the fact that he's, like, su fucking running super quick. Which does not make sense for a fucking fat guy. Alright, where's he at? Alright. Alright. Mm. Oh, shit. Did he just, like, blow himself up? I don't even know what's going on right now. I'm not too sure on what exactly I have to go and do, because it's not really specific to what exactly I'm doing. I uh, don't don't really see him anyway, so... Oh, he's all the way over there. What are you doing all the way over there, Pig Josh? You're supposed to be over here. Alright, so I guess I can just go and... I guess I'm just gonna go play like Ring Around the Rosie with this guy. Or something, cause he's not really giving me a chance to go and kill him. I don't know where exactly he went off to. Alright. Ah shit, I kinda saw that one coming. But, come on, get up, get up. Or, um, don't really know exactly what to do with this guy. He's not really gonna. He's not really giving me like a uh, like a clear thing to do. All they're really telling me is just go and do this, do that, and I'm like, uh, okay. I don't even know where the fucking guy is at anymore. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. All right. All right, and ah, oh, shit. Come on, man. Seriously, I'm not like getting a single chance to really get away from him after he starts running at me. They seriously don't give me anything. They're just like, oh, hey, he's charging at you. Nope. Oh, shit. See, there he goes again. Now I've got to get away from this guy. Uh, where'd he go? Where's he at? Come on, Pig Josh. Where you at? Oh, there you are. Got to hide away from him. Come on, reload. Uh, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Come on. Where's the other guy at? Where's that sir guy? Uh, I don't really know. Where the fuck did you go, pig? Come on, piggy, piggy, piggy. Oh, there you are. There we are. And... There, come on. Oh, he's over there. 
Got to go and find a way to go and uh, distract him. There we are. Finally took him out. Uh, let's see what happens now. Thank you, sir. Your help has been immensely appreciated. If I can be of any assistance whatsoever, do not hesitate to call upon me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a certain debt to collect from Professor Perry and his circus crew. Good day to you. Hmm. See, that guy's just so, like, prim and proper. You know what the funny thing is, too? Is that, um, he does not really, sp like, Red does not really speak at all. So I, I got a good, but I did not get the excellent, which I would really have probably wanted. But hey, hey, we got enough uh, money. We got like 700 out of that, which is good. And, um, yeah, yeah. I don't know really what else to go on with. Uh, that was a good little episode, I would say. Uh, it kind of <laughs> it took me a while to figure out how to exactly get Pig Josh, but once I did, it became a pretty simple fight, I would say. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to end the episode here, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, expect up another episode in uh, probably another week or so. Uh, I'm going to try to keep these at least um, once a week or maybe uh, every other week. I'm not too sure on how the scheduling will work right now. But, yeah, let's just uh, see where the next one leads us to. So until the next one, guys, I'll see you later, and peace.